May is Mental Health Awareness Month, a reminder that each year millions of Americans face the reality of living with a mental illness. Tonight, we're helping raise awareness for those students who may be struggling with the stigma of mental illness. I looked into what resources are available in our public schools for immediate help. Teens have endured lockdowns, distance learning, in-person learning, masks on, then off. Combine that stress with social media pressures, civil unrest, and a war half a world away. Sometimes kids are afraid to say anything. They're afraid of what the reaction is going to be. A lot of things you don't talk about to your guy friends, especially, you know, if you're going through stuff, you kind of keep it to yourself. I've actually struggled with my mental health for a very long time. So I have friends that also struggle, so I do my best to give them my resources and talk to them. For 12th grader Elise Joseph, talking about what's wrong has helped make things right. When I came here and they actually showed that, hey, we care, we're here for you, we have different programs, options. If you don't want to talk to a group, we can talk to us one on one. So I actually talk back and forth with like three and four different staff members throughout the day and they help me stay on top of like school stuff my emotions or just get ready for like college life and outside world stuff. Fellow classmate Preston Wade also found comfort in a school counselor. I'm a really closed off person, so it's hard to get it out. We have more and more students coming forward each day with more needs um, for needing someone to talk to, needing someone to help them learn the strategies to manage the anxiety, the stress, um, the trauma that they've experienced. William T. Dwyer High School in Palm Beach Gardens has 10 counselors, including a behavioral health practitioner, a certified state therapist, psychologist, and drug and alcohol counselor. The need is growing. We, we've actually had times where the need is bigger than what we can handle. Um, and so we have outside agencies that we're able to refer families to. It is a mental health crisis. Dr. Mary Claire Musenic is the Director of Behavioral and Mental Health for the Palm Beach County School District. We're really seeing an increase in anxiety, um, feelings of sadness, and also difficulties with interpersonal relationships. And I think, you know, that's a direct result of that screen time, being on social media, interacting online versus in person. Four years ago, voters approved a 2018 referendum enabling schools to increase mental health services. The challenges are great for our kids. And fortunately here in Palm Beach County, we have a model set up, I think, for the, for the nation around how we support our families and our community. What do you need more of to better serve the students? Um, licensed, certified counselors, therapists, the ones that are truly trained in the new strategies, the proven strategies that can help the students manage their mental health. I never realized that I was making it worse on myself for not talking to anyone about it. You're smiling as you talk about it. Yeah, I feel like I smile because I see where I used to be and I see where I am now and I see a drastic change and I'm loving who I'm going to become. Oh, Elise, you are going to go far. At Dwyer High School, there are several events held throughout the school year to familiarize students with coping skills and grounding skills so they can help themselves in times of struggle. Now, all the counselors we spoke with on and off camera encourage both parents and students to speak up if something is wrong. They say communication is key. The student will be matched with a counselor or therapist who suits his or her needs.